Today, you guys are getting an update on the new enclosures and whatever these pool noodles are for. Cue the intro. So they're not fully done, but they're pretty far along, way further than they were last time when we showed them in the previous video, I think it was two videos ago. They're pretty much looking like enclosures already, not just big wooden boxes. I'm gonna stop talking about them and just show you. This is what we came up with for the shelving system, right? So everybody's got a different layout of shelves. So this is Pepe's enclosure. So as you guys can see, there is so much space to go off the ground, right? There's a big shelf right there. Under that, right, there's gonna be like her little hide spot. And then up here is Aurelia, and Aurelia is just a tiny lizard. She's just about this long, right? Maybe 26 inches with the tail or something, right? So this is a paradise for her, right? She's gonna have this huge, huge shelf up here. It doesn't show it, but this is massive. This is four foot long, right? It's incredible, right? These enclosures are massive. But the more that we put stuff into it, the smaller they seem, right? Did it hurt my toe? Did you? Come on. I can move it. No, it hurt. Like it wasn't long ago that when we stood in this enclosure to work and to dry lock it, we were able to be two people. Now it's gonna be a little hard. But don't worry because me plus the lizard in there is gonna be fantastic, right? I won't even be intruding on the space that much and it's gonna be perfect for enrichment training and all that stuff. But imagine in the other enclosure, let me just cross. Dangerous endeavors, but it's what we need to do to do content. All right, so in this enclosure, I can be fully here, right? And it doesn't matter, like she could be in her water or she could be right over there and I'm not in her face, I'm not anywhere near her. So that's like a really good positive. And filming videos in here is gonna be way easier because the gimbal that we're using, which is a stabilizer, also comes with a tripod. So we could just set up this right here and then have it on rotate or whatever and capture a big 360 shot of Pepe. And it'd be amazing, right? Now speaking of something else that's amazing, we have, these little corners because we rounded out all the corners here we thought it'd be more natural that way and these corners are actually going to go here in the corners like that in order to round out those corners as well so that's going to be really cool there's one right here we're going to be using this one right here in order to extend this and then put a big trunk right here connecting these two and it's going to be really cool like there's this one right over there it's going to be an extension of this shelf right here in the back right there and of course every little corner like this and then that way and then that way those are all gonna have little corner pieces that are gonna fill up the 90 degree angles as well because there's no 90 degrees in nature there shouldn't be in the terrarium now forgive me i'm sweating in this room because it is really hot and i can't really open the window right now it is a little cold today so we're not gonna do that but there is a fan so i'll be standing right next to it now cherry's enclosure is gonna have just this one shelf right here, but it does have this huge space right there, which is basically another shelf in and of itself. But Cherry is not really a climber. He's a more of a potato type <laughs> build. He's a, not the ninja type. He's more of a tank type. He sleeps a lot. Yeah, he sleeps a lot. It's, it's a, it, yeah, so, so we gave him a lot of laying space, a lot of different areas that he could lounge in. So like the shelves right there, right, right here, or like this, or under here, or over there. It's gonna be a laying paradise for the guy. Now one thing that we failed to consider is that he's quite large, and I don't mean like the size, I mean the, the width. And that's not gonna be enough width to fully allow him to climb. So we're gonna put another one of these over here and we'll end it right there and then they'll both be attached to each other and then this can raise up for easy tegu access speaking of easy access you guys might know but you guys might also not know that we designed cherry's enclosure with something really cool in mind easy access for the tortoises that are gonna be living right below. So this is gonna be the enclosure for the cherry head redfoot tortoises, and they are really cool. I, we only have one right now, but we're hoping for two. And they're gonna be living in the enclosure that you guys are currently in, which is gonna be a nine and a half feet by four foot enclosure. It's absolutely gigantic. And you guys might be wondering, what is up with these pool noodles? Well, over here is an example of what they'll look like 
when they're in the middle stages. So we're gonna be turning some of these into wood, like this one, right? These are gonna be wood, basically like logs. And then some other ones, like these ones and those ones, are gonna end up becoming big slate rocks. So those will be on the walls and they will be scaped and they will be molded so that they look like rock. If you guys would like to see a video of our trial and errors to do that, definitely hit subscribe. And if you're already subscribed but you're looking for a better way to support the channel, then there is the Discord server. Now the Discord server is the place where you can interact with the rest of the community. There's tons of channels including questions of the day and a place to share all your reptile memes. And it's all free, first link in the description all the time. Now. Are we excited to get this project done? Yes, of course. I've been working tirelessly. We've been working really hard. Rox has been working super hard as well on this project and, you know, lifting all of these and, you know, propping them up while I'm drilling and all that stuff, you know, it's hard work. And this might not look it, but it is the beginning of the next phase, which once the anti-corners are put in, we're gonna be able to start spray foaming. And I don't mean spray foaming like this. I mean spray foaming like the industrial type thing it's gonna be like a foot wide jet and we're gonna be able to just over the whole thing this is gonna be for the detail work I actually bought it before because I didn't know the other stuff existed thank you Dylan for the great tip and also the other way to uh, spend $500 for detail work but as I look into this and into what we've created I'm able to see that we are approaching the end of the tunnel and once we do it's gonna be amazing my name is Matt Zephyr that's Roxanne behind the camera and right here is Minnie the iguana and we're Mystic Animals, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, and if you really loved it, why don't you subscribe? It's free, you know? Now, I wanna be real with you guys, because in a way, you guys are like family, and you guys deserve an explanation to why the video was late, and also to why Roxanne chose to stay behind the camera in today's video. Now, as some of you might know, especially those of you who are close to us in real life, Roxanne's mom has been fighting cancer for the last two and a half to three years. And in the last week, Roxanne had to be there for her to assist in her end of life treatment. And she's gone and it's a, ultimately a better thing. That doesn't not make it sad. It is very sad still. If you guys have any kind of encouraging or loving comments to give to Roxanne, I know that for, for me and for Roxanne, it's always something that we love to read the comments and when they're about Mystic, it's fantastic and helpful. So in the light of this situation, you guys could show Roxanne some love in the comments. I'm sure she would appreciate reading it. The uploads will not slow down. It was pretty much a one-time thing, but it was a very difficult last week and priorities had to be chosen. And of course, losing a parent is definitely more important. Anyway, I don't want to end on a bad note. I love you guys. I think you guys give us purpose and the army is growing. We're reaching 800 subs, like we're just about. And you early 800, you guys are like family. So that's why we're letting you know. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. And from one orphan and another orphan to you guys, you might want to give your parents a call and make sure they're doing all right. Anyway, Matt, Roxanne, out. Peace.